Hello and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bow necklace. Isn't that so cute? You can make this for your daughter um, if she's wearing a plain shirt or she's just wearing something cute maybe on picture day um, she can have this and just uh, wear I think it's too big for me but oh it fits and just wear and it, it'll just sit like this and it's so cute. I seen it in a magazine and I said I'm not paying $30 for that when I can make it myself with some scrap fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this today. Okay, so what you're going to need to make this is iron, your glue gun, scissors. I have a little square piece here and I cut this. I wrote it down because I'm constantly forgetting things. Oh, it is three by one and a half inches. And what I have here is the chain. This is a Figaro chain, silver. I got it from Michael's Beatlemon. I cut this down to 20 inches long. I have two little pieces of um, scrap felt fabric. I didn't measure this because it's going to be to your liking, but I'm gonna use this to put inside and this is what's gonna hold our chain um, together. And then I have a scrap piece of fabric here. So that's why it's always good to keep your scrap fabric because you can make stuff with it. So this is eight and a half by five inches wide. So it's five inches wide, eight and a half inches long. Um, and this is going to be for our, to put around the bow once we make it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do first is fold everything down with the iron and then we'll start assembling our bow. So what you wanna do is the same thing you would do if you're making uh, clothes or anything like that. You wanna use the wrong side up. So you wanna have the wrong side of the fabric up. And you can tell what the wrong side is because it's normally um, the lighter side of the fabric. Um, and then you could kind of look at the edge of the fabric, see which way the grain is going, and that usually tells you what the wrong side is. So I'm just gonna fold this in half. I'm gonna take my iron just to dent it down to give me a visual. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to fold it up in the middle and have it just at the line at the crease that I just made. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my iron and I'm just going to flatten it out. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. So I'm gonna bring the top down. You see that? But I'm just going to put it, I'm not gonna overlap it to the other side that I just ironed, but I'm going to make sure that they're extremely close together. So I'm gonna even that out right now and then I'm going to go ahead and take my iron and again flatten this part down. So now that we have it and it's still pretty long we're going to take this fold it over because we want to get to the middle again. I'm just going to take my thumb at this point and crease it so I know where the middle is. So I'm going to unfold this and I'm gonna take this part here and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did when I folded it up. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do different here is take the hot glue and just put a dab of it. Not very much, cause you just want enough of it to stick this down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Not over, we're still not overlapping this. We're just meeting the two sides together. Go ahead and put some hot glue down. So now it looks like this. So what you're going to do at this point, you're going to hold it in the middle and see you still have your crease so you know where your middle is so it doesn't look lopsided once you get it together. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get a little bit closer here so you can see. Um, this takes a little bit of practice. So what you're going to do is fold it in the middle so now you have that crease and what you could do at this point is put your hot glue in there now or you can wait until you fold the other two sides down if you're new to this you probably want to go ahead and put just a dab of hot glue in there right now to hold it down so you're not getting frustrated with it 
and just crease that together. You see, now it's creased. And then you wanna fold it like this. So now this is what it looks like, sorry. And when we're done, you can straighten it out however you want. So you're gonna turn it over to the back and you're not gonna put very much hot glue, but just enough hot glue to hold it down. So what I usually do is I take a light little kind of spread it a little bit and then I just push that down so it stays down and I'm going to do the same thing with the other part and this is the same process I use when I'm making these um, for hair bows so this type of bow can be used for jewelry making jewelry or for making hair bows it's a it has a dual use so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and let this sit and let this hot glue sit and seal enough. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and iron the two sides. Now for this, I'm just going to iron um, one side and then iron the other side. I'm not going to fold this in half because we're going to wrap this around our bow. Okay, so now that we have this ironed down, you see how I did mine? It didn't put this all the these sides all the way in the middle just because I wanted this to be a little bit wider now you can always cut it wider and then if you want to fold it in the middle and then connect the sides in the middle like we did for the bow you can always do that so now we're going to take this piece we're going to set this in the middle of our bow take the glue we're going to put a little bit of hot glue in here to hold this down And then we're just going to hold that down like that. And then we're going to wrap wrap one side around. And of course, we're going to go back to our hot glue at this point. So we can get both sides to lay down. So you see how that is? It's laid down. So what you're going to do with this one is now we're going to overlap. This is the only time that we're going to overlap. Now you don't have to, but this is just what I do. Okay, so now we're just going to fold over the other side and we're going to put the hot glue. So now we have the bow part together. See? And the front is all done. These are so easy to make. You can make a ton of these in no time. So what I'm going to do, which is going to take a little bit of patience. So you want to know what we're going to do with these. Looks crazy, right? Let's fold it in half. I'm going to fold it in half. We're going to open this end here, just like that. Okay, so what we're going to do with this felt piece is we're going to hot glue it inside of here. So I'm going to show you how I did mine. So what I did initially was I took this and I'm not going to put a ton of hot glue in here. Just enough to hold this in place. You want to make sure that when you put this in here that it's down far enough to where you're not going to see it once you seal this closed. So I'm going to stick mine down there and then what we're going to do is make sure that we get it sealed on both sides because we don't want the sides to lift up. Now this is a little tricky and it's only working for me right now because my one thumbnail is really long <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the fabric part. You could put it on the felt, it really doesn't matter, it's going to connect to both essentially anyway now what you don't want to happen is for it to seal the middle just yet because we're going to stick the chain inside there so I'm going to just make sure this is laying down on this side now this process may cause for you your fingers to get just a tad bit hot playing around with the hot glue and the felt so now that we have that in there and this is just going to you can, when you're finished, you can always clean it up, get the hot glue that's hanging or whatever. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do first, and then I'm going to go ahead with the process. So this is going to go inside the two 
uh, the felt pieces. And we're just gonna sandwich it together on that. So now that I showed you what we're gonna do, more hot glue. So we're just gonna put the hot glue inside the middle flap here. Put enough of it because we want this to stay. We don't want our chain coming out of there. So you wanna put enough hot glue in there to where this will not come out. So now it's in there. You see that? Okay, so what I did is I stuck my felt down a little bit more. Then I went on ahead because I want to seal this piece closed. And I connect the other side of my fabric. So now that piece is closed because I don't want this chain coming up. See? It's secure. And that's how we want it to stay. So I'm just going to take my little scissors here and I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. And then we have our necklace. Now if you want to do this the other way and add the, um, the clamps, you can. You just go ahead and um, do it this way and then go ahead and separate these pieces with your jewelry um, tools and then add the clamps to each end. I like stuff that she can pull over her neck because she likes to take things on and off so much. So if she has to use the clamps, you know, it's going to be too difficult for her and then she's going to wind up breaking it. Because now that she's starting school this year, I won't be there to do everything for her. So. Um, that's that. So let's go ahead. We're gonna do the same thing with that piece of felt. And mine is just a little uneven. It's hanging a little bit more on one side than it is on the other side. But that really doesn't matter because it's inside and nobody's going to see it. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side with this side. I'm sorry if my camera keeps going in and out. It's like on auto save for power. So if it keeps going light and dark, then that's what it's doing that for. So sorry. I'm going to go ahead with this one and do the same thing I did with the other side. So I'm hoping that you can see this. Please let me know if any videos that I do you don't understand something or you can't really see what I'm doing and either I will do it over or I'll kind of explain to you that had a little altercation um but go ahead and finish this off I put the chain in already so we're going to go ahead and finish this off just like we did on the other side and just put the hot glue in there and then seal that together and you can always cut off any um hot glue that's hanging over or any of the felt on the inside that's hanging over um, just so it looks a little neater. So there we have it. It's easy, it's simple, and it's so cute and delicate for a little girl to wear um, as an accessory piece. And you don't have to go to the store and spend thirty or forty dollars on it. And you can use, you can go ahead and buy fabric if you want. I just use today scrap pieces of fabric. I always save my scrap fabric because you never know what I may need to use it for and it came in handy for this tutorial Tuesday so if you like my videos please subscribe and see you next tutorial Tuesday